What's up, everybody? Bueller here again, and I just wanted to update the Amazon TA and kind of break down what's been going on. <clears throat> so a few days ago, we were calling it a good hook morning star looking pattern. Uh, we were looking for passive entries above the 9 EMA. We ended up getting that, so I'm just going to focus here on this. Uh, so main levels that we were looking for is this main resistance from after the gap up or gap down. Sorry, we had a gap down and we ended up pushing up, and that's where I have our main resistance set at. Um, I'm also going to draw the main support here, and that's about the main levels we're looking at here. So let's look at what's going on after passing the 9 EMA after our pattern and all that. So I've already discussed this in the past video. If you haven't already, go, go and check that out uh, on CRWD. It's the same exact play. Um, it, we end up getting this move over the 9 EMA, and then we end up getting our gap up day. So this is kind of where I'm expecting, all right, slow down. Okay, so this is where you want to start to look for bullish control. How can you do that? A really cool way we do it in my chat is we grab the top and bottom of this candle, and then you can get the control point. The control point is the 50%. Uh, so I'm going to get the important candle. So we broke out with this candle, and then we moved up with this candle. So I'm going to just grab this, this candle's day, because this candle we're expecting for a reset, a slowdown, you know, kind of a breather day. So you can expect these kind of candles... Uh, whenever you have these types of breakouts, you don't just always parabolically in an unsustainable way keep moving up. Sometimes you do slow down, you take that breather. This is how you test that. So you end up grabbing just the 50% of this. Sometimes people grab the golden pocket. I like to grab the 50% the just to kind of get a good, you know, just area of where I want to look at. Uh, and this is really good and helpful for your smaller time frames too. So as you can see, end up taking profits on this day here. If you really wanted to, you could end up holding it to another day. So it was really up to you, decision on the swing trade wise. But regardless of the swing trade, let's say you didn't take it at all. You wanted to take this for a day trade. You know, what were indications of how you could have taken this further up? Okay, well, of course, you're going to want to mark the outside of your little group here because this is where you broke out. Okay, this is where we got up. This is where we gapped up. So now we're focused on this area's control because this is where we can see where the move's going to go out or up, no matter what the volume is. So there we have the reset. It holds over the 50% control point. Let's mark this orange so we can remember on the smaller time frames where this is at. Let's go down to the 10 minute. Just one of my preferred time frames. I'm going to mark the previous day high going into today. Um, and then that's it. A previous day low as well. I want to mark my BB system that's marking the pre market high, pre market low, the previous day high, and the previous day low. Um, sometimes you can also mark the close of the previous day. It gives you a good sense of direction. Um, I don't always mark it, but it is a good level to mark or at least watch here and there. Uh, but let's look at this. So, those are two days before that uh, breakout day. And then here's the reset day. So, you could see price ended up dropping, kind of made a falling wedge look here kind of on intraday end up pushing back up above that control point so you can see they wanted to hold that crucial level they end up making a higher low as pre-market low was way down here they end up pushing up holding the close of yesterday holding over the control point moving up going to the outside of that pattern we were talking about outside of those two days and then the yesterday's high that previous day high so you could see now let's see how the price action worked with all those levels now that we know what those levels are the importance of them and you know all the reasoning and everything so price ends up pushing over the pre-market you could see a lot of retests here before it had that big pump up the big pump up though was through these levels what level did it end up holding for a good and this is what my chat is familiar with the 80 percent retest you know look how the hell look how well they held this so far no there's no other trade opportunity here you know, you wouldn't want to just randomly enter a put. Um, you'd want to wait, of course, for confirmation below this 33.17 before taking it lower or even to the upside before taking it higher. Of course, mark your recent highs over here. You know, this is a good area of where it can have a slowdown if it does end up breaking out or an area of where it can push higher if it has more bullish momentum pick up. Um, but as you can see, though, you can set both swing trading plans off of this 9 EMA and BB system strat as well as for day trading. So uh, tons of opportunity there. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys want another ticker or another breakdown, let me know what ticker below in the comment section and I'll, I'll get to it. Thank you.